got game one of the semifinals. It is the first seed. YNG Dreamers going up against RWE. Isaac in the corner. He loves that spot. He hits. Carter Knox. Like that. Big shot. You know what, man? The upset start this round. Oh my god, they keep going back and forth. Here we go. It's getting a little chippy. Bad game out of Eli. When he does, he kind of cooks. And RWE takes it 103 to 94. A surprise victory. And we're live right here in the heart of Atlanta, Georgia at the beautiful OTE Arena. It is do or die for the YNG Dreamers. They lose. Might as well start the bus, man. It's time for you to go home. And we're talking about MVP Eli Ellis Dreamers. We're talking about number one seed in the league, Dreamers. Uh, so, I mean, they have a chance, RWE, to make history. I'm your host, Agent Zero, joined by Duke Dennis. How y'all doing? We got Am um, Davis in the cut. Salutations. Let's take a look at the playoff picture. We asked for unpredictable. Yesterday, we got unpredictable. The four seed beating the one seed and the three seed beating the two seed. Again, these are best of three, Davis. So if you lose two straight, goodbye. Hey, man, it's time for the Dreamers and the Reapers to make some plays. Or like you said, start the bus. Yeah, the Dreamers put up a good fight early on, but RWE, it was just too much. I ain't gonna lie, I kind of seen how the Dreamers like came out and they start off a, they start off good, but man, by the end of the game, you just they just couldn't they couldn't hit anything, man. Especially with Eli having a, a horrible game for his standards, man. I just I plan on seeing a completely different Dreamers tonight. Man, they could not buy a three pointer in that second half. Like you said, it just it just was brutal. They couldn't get to the line. They couldn't find any source of consistent offense. Uh, so like Duke said, I I expect something different. Expect them to change the game plan. Something, something got to shake. Yeah, they started the season shaky, but man, the past few months we have not seen many people make the Dreamers look the way RWE made him look, and it, it really at the core of it was Eli's struggles. Um, he had a great game if you just ignore the field goal percentage, but shooting eight for twenty-three, that's not going to do it, Davis. A hundred percent, man. Twenty-five, eight, nine is close to a triple double. You know, it almost looks like it could have been a good game, but hey, like you said, for his standards, it's not going to do it. He shot eight for twenty-three from the field. Zero for nine from three. I mean, hey, that's just not going to win. That's not going to win this deep in the season, man. So he's going to have to knock down his shots if they want a chance to win. Yeah, he's still on the verge of breaking history, though, and becoming the most scored OTE player, beating the likes of Amen Thompson, Asar Thompson, uh, Bryson Warren, and Jake Gord. He can do that today with just 22 points. Eli can make history and keep his team alive in the playoffs. But he's going to need to step up in a big way for the Dreamers here today. And this is what it looks like, man. Wow. Asar Thompson with the all-time record right now. You think Eli can do it? Oh, 100%. Oh, yeah. He's going to do it this game. He's not even going to be late in the game either. I think he'll do it. He's going to get some buckets this Maybe game. in the first half. And you know what's crazy? If he don't, then he does it. Ever. Oh, wow. Like, he's he's stuck at number two if he does it. Oh, I didn't even oh, think there's, about There's always that. next year. Oh, look. I mean, yeah. yeah. All right, I'm looking forward to this one, but let's get into the starting lineups first for the YNG Dreamers. MVP, Eli Ellis. At the wing, sharpshooter Don Lewis. Stretch big, Abu Yarma. At guard, Evan Morton. And the floor general, Isaac Ellis. And now for RWE. Defensive anchor, Daquan Davis. McDonald's All-American, Carter Knox. Next up, Jaden Wilkins. Happy to see him back, Nathan Macia Dio. And that big, ejected last game, but back tonight, Peyton Marshall. Let's introduce the fourth member of our broadcast team, Sniper Jones, for tonight's Adidas Faceoff. Yes, sir, guys, I got both coaches with me right now. First off, Coach Frazier, no Darion Sutton tonight. He's a big piece of the starting lineup. What is the goal playing without him? 
Um, I mean, try to do some of the things we did last night. We focused on our defense, and, and that is trying to contain their guys, keep them off the three-point line, limit them to one shot, keep them off the offensive glass. So uh, our game plan is simple, and it's no secret what we're trying to do. We're just trying to defend and get extra possessions. Absolutely. Coach, for you, it's win or go home. Yeah. Last night, Eli didn't shoot the best, even though he left with 20-plus. What was the talk to him after game one to get him back confident for game two? Uh, it was my fault, you know, letting him mic up for the first time. It was all my fault. I should have... I should have, you know, I should have protected his, you know, mental clarity. It, it was my fault. So that was it. And, and, you know, even no excuses, you're going to shoot better. You got to trust the numbers, trust the work. So. Absolutely. Hey, coaches, good luck to both of you guys. We got an amazing game. Win or go home. Dreamers versus RW, RWE. Hey, guys, back to y'all. It would be pretty bananas if, uh, like, all the defensive people have thrown at Eli, a mic is what took him out. <laughs> a mic. You know what? That's funny. That might be his kryptonite. <laughs> we'll see if you can step up here today. RWE wins tip off and we're underway. This is the RWE team I think a lot of people saw in the preseason and were expecting to see all season long. But we've been greeted with it recently. Travel, travel early. Great defense from Eli. Man, I think it's so interesting. Sampto coming off the bench. This team is stacked. And it's stacked. Yeah, especially with Big Nate back. Jay Jack. Man. See if Eli can get going early. Oh, oh no, man. man they, you know, it's early in the game, of course, but they cannot afford to not hit threes like they did last game. Hey, uh, them shoes Cardinals got on, I ordered them yesterday on broadcast. And it was only like $100. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That we pick up. W cop. Said w pick up. <laughs> yeah, that was, was a W cop. Actually, Sniper Joe wants to be the one that decides that. Now, those are tough. Those are Don Issue 5. The green colorway. Oh goodness. They're probably the best colorway you got, in my opinion. Those are. Yeah. Hey, what's them shoes uh, Lucas got on? What Jay Will got? Get in the corner. He got the James Harden Volume 7 on. Let me see. Okay. You about to order those? About to order those, too. <laughs> those are so different. You a lot of hooping shoes, and you never hoop, man. Yeah, you don't hoop it up for a guy with hooping shoes. Uh oh, Carter got oh. oh. That was the best hoop shoe of the year last year, bro. But the, the volume eight out now, bro. You might hold on, hold on. on. The James Harden volume seven? Yeah, the volume seven is the old pair. The volume eight is the new one. There's the close-up. Go, Sniper Jones, one of the... And one of the greatest shoe reviewers in the history of shoe reviewers. That's exactly what I was going to say, man. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. He really, really knows his stuff. Yeah. From every, every brand, head to toe. If he could only put together outfits better, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> RWE get on the board first, courtesy of free throws. Man, it was chippy last game, huh? Game one. It was a bloody nose. In one second, step back for Eli. Misses early rebound to Yarma. No, loose ball. They're starting 0 for 3. Oh, get there. They don't call fouls on this ball. They always call your balls. Yeah. <laughs> um, 0 for 3 for the Dreamers to start from 3, man. And, and I'm pointing out because you live by 3, you deceased by 3. That was the criticism early on for the Warriors before they won a chip that you could win as a three-point shooting team. And it's funny because the league has literally changed into that. Oh, my goodness, oh. left-handed. Yeah, left-handed scoop out the Euro step. That's actually very tough. Oh, they actually not on go. That's actually kind of crazy. Carter Knox has it. Isaac playing defense. Ball gets tipped and rebound. Look at them other dreamers, man. They're so small, but they find a way to get rebound still. That's hustle. Oh, there we go. Eli. Deep shot. Man, 0 for 5. Three. Well, he's going to hit one of them eventually. Can't miss the ball as Daquan Davis walks right past Isaac for the lay. Dreamers might just need to see if Isaac can get going. He had a decent game yesterday. No. But they retain possession. Slow start for the Dreamers.
And to be fair, as we take a look at the replay here, Don Lewis, zero. RWE is the nightmare matchup for the Dreamers. They're just... Nightmare matchup for any team, honestly. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, one of the best defenses in the league. But just the size difference between these two teams makes them a tough matchup for the Dreamers. Alley-oop to Santo. Bug is picked off. Here we go, fast break. Morton looking for it, doesn't get it. Isaac drives off the glass. Hey, like, hey Isaac is really doing a fantastic job, bro. Oh, yeah. Proud of him, man. Juan over to Wilkins. Wilkins to Knox. Great seeing them get better and better. Pulls up. Over the year. Oh, yeah, that's, that's. that's there we go. Is. First three ball for Eli in quite some time. At least these semifinals. <laughs> it gotta feel nice to see that go in. Here's Isaac. He did that a couple times in game one, too. Just kisses it off the glass, and now Eli sees the ball go in. It might just be what the Dreamers needed. This was last night, though, the chippiness of the game. It was getting pretty heated. It was a bloody nose there from Quan. So he sat out for a little. And then Peyton Marshall <laughs> and Insane. a punch Ali himself will be proud of. In Insane. <laughs> <laughs> he went. That is not playoff basketball, man. They did send him home after that. <laughs> but Samto. Yo, chat, is that playoff basketball? Nah, that's not playoff basketball. I'll answer. I'm chat. That's not. Yeah, that, that's, that's not playoff basketball. All right. Hey, this is you. All right, Eli's saying something. I can't hear him, though. <laughs> he's, he said something with a zero at the end. 50? Question mark? I don't know. He said he gave David oh, Fitt a zero out of 10. Uh, it's not going to hit the same snipe because you actually have... Horrendous, horrendous outfits. There's <laughs> Eli. I think he's saying he's not going. Yeah, I think he's saying he's not going to have zero threes again. That's what he said at the beginning yeah. of the game. RWE with possession. Warren playing some tight defense on Quan. Quan nice. pushes past anyway. Wow. Ball rims out. Nice take though. A little slow start for both teams here. Eli fights for position, gets it. Man, we just seen a drop step from Eli <laughs> it's in the as he holds his head. Seven to four is the score. Dreamers up three. Hey man, Cam, we back, baby. The second day, game two, best of three. Right now, four to seven. Any nervous jitters going on right now? Uh, we're, we're coming out really slow. Uh, I don't know what's going on. We got the early game, so we should be lit. But uh, we're going to see. It's early. I got a chance to talk to Isaac before the game. He looked at me. He didn't blink. He said that Eli's going for 60. And seeing that he went for 50 like four times, I don't think he over-exaggerating. Do you have anything to say about that? That's his brother. He's going to say that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's not happening, but that's his brother. I get it. It's not like it's unlikely because, like, he, he he's, like, scored a lot. I mean, he's scored a lot, but it's playoff. Defense is a little better. You know what I'm saying? But that's his brother. I get it, but it's not going to happen. Day two and no Darion Sutton. I see him over there fully dressed. I know that Shagah. What will they have to do to kind of make up for his miss? Just like they did yesterday. Everybody got to step up, play defense. The bench guys got to be ready to go. Easy. Just that simple. Now, look, you sitting closer to the bench today. Is that because you want to draw up some plays? Or is it because you just you just so happen to be sitting here? I just so happen to be there. I don't believe it. You don't believe it? I, I, I think I you want to draw a race board right now. something up and tell them in their ear. I might do that. But, no, I just happen to be here. Okay. All right. Carter Knox. He hooped yesterday. Can he do it again? Can he seal the deal? He can. But he needs to take it to the rim early on. And then they'll back up and he can get the judge. I think the coach has told him the same thing too. Coach said you need to get to the basket a little bit earlier. But 
last but not least, Isaac Ellis went crazy yesterday. Maybe because he didn't get that next up award. Do you think he's going to do it again? We'll see. He's going to be aggressive like yesterday for sure. He already cooking early, so he may. Okay. Now, I see you came with your boys. All right, you got the, you got the Newman crew with you. If y'all was on the court right now, what would, your, what would that starting lineup look like compared to the rest of the starting five lineup? So Nelson and Owen would be on the bench. All okay. oh, right. The so they're not even change. in the lineup. It would not change. It would look the same. They'd be on the bench. Hey, but you would be starting. Yes. For sure. And you're the owner, so like you can make it happen. No, for sure. Can I get a can I get a roster spot? No, you cannot. Okay. What what happened to Okay, you know what? Uh I'm I'm out of here. Uh, b b back to y'all. Eli Ellis at the line. Has a chance to make some history tonight and keep his team's hopes alive. It's crazy. The Dreamers went from nobody expecting them to be here to now they have all the expectations. They get swept here. That would be actually tough. Very. It's going to be insane. No trap defense, full court trap to get things going. Jay Jack, mid range. Does not hit. All right. Run it. Juan tried it. Foul call on Nate. Nate played such a big role for RWE in game one. Man, it was. And it was great. He was automatic from, from the corner. From corner three, man, he was automatic. Yeah. Corner three. Corner Sniper three. Jones is joined with uh, YNG alum. What up, Snipe? Hey, man, I got Tyler Smith with me. You're projected to be a first-round pick next year. How does that feel, leaving OTE going to the league? I mean, it feels great. Finally about to achieve my dream, you know? All right, now, look, I know you see RWE and the Dreamers going at it. Who you got winning this round? Oh, I like RWE. And two, or, you, or it's going three? Is it, or it's a sweep? I think RWE got it this game. Okay, so it's a sweep. Is, uh, you got RWE winning the whole uh, thing? Uh, Probably the Reapers. Probably the Reapers. Last but not least, what's something that you take with you everywhere you go, something that you learn here in this building? Uh, Just to work hard, stay in the gym. Say that. Thank you, bro. Good luck on the rest of your career. Hey. Back to you guys. Hey, just, just, hey, just to work hard and stay in the gym, though, but you know what? I never really thought about it like that. Yeah, that's a great PR answer. I think he's ready for the NBA. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, I think Davis, like, after you found out you were ranked, if you would have worked hard to in the gym, like, you probably would have made it. Not, not made it, but, like, definitely, like, you know, when he say made it, he mean like actually be ranked one day. You hear that? You hear that hate, Davis? That's not hate. <laughs> That's a factual statement. Don Lewis trying to cook up a little bit of hard. ISO here. Out to Yarma. Yarma shoots over top. Santo and yeah, caught nothing but air. Just because Santo was right there. Trying to shoot it high, just uh. Huh. Huh. Dreamer's not shooting the ball that well from three. One for seven to start. Still up three, though, somehow. Foul called as Morton bumps Quan. James Harden, foul <laughs> seven. How much are they? Uh, I'm going to see, man. Oh, wow. Ball stolen by Burton. He takes it all the way. No. Strip. This one, Davis. Way to hustle back. Quan prevented the easy layup there. Never give up. Never back down. Never what? Oh, it's their wall. Oh, no. Yeah. It's already it is. ball. Yeah. Great play. Cross court to Jay Jack. Baseline reverse layup goes. Man, JJ, man. Great guy. You know what you are. A bucket. <laughs> Isaac Ellis can't do it this time. Yarma pulls up. No. Man, the Dreamers. Yeah, they're just not hitting from three right now. Uh oh. That would have been insane. That would have been so unnecessary. Yo, <laughs> almost threw that one in. That's a slam ball attempt. Whoa. Eli still has it somehow. <gasps> Bad he didn't get the call, but. 
That would have been a crazy play if he made that. Vaughn takes it all the way, and RWE takes the lead. This is a very low scoring quarter. Yeah. And they've been trying, though. This is playoff basketball. Eli gets Carter Knox on him. Isaac, corner three. No. Out to Yarma for three. There we go. Hey, Yarma is very talented at shooting. Yeah. He's playing. He's doing a lot. Like, he, he'll guard the other teams big and then stretch the floor out on the other end. All right. 40 seconds left. Uh-oh. Samto. Back out to Knox. Four on the clock. And a foul called. That's your star player right there. Making something happen. What big time players do in the playoffs, agent? Double. They, they probably make big time plays. Yeah. Maybe. You gotta know that double O. Sniper Jones is joined with Ethan Almanza. Snipe. Hey, man, I'm with the former YNG Dreamer, Ethan Almanza. Does your former team have what it takes to win a championship this year? Yeah, I think so. Like, I think if we were playing this year, we'll win the championship for sure. Now, obviously, you see Eli Ellis is now the MVP. Just last year, he was a role player. What do you have to say about his development over the years since you've been here? Like, first, when he was here, like, he was, like, a, like a young guy, small, and nobody, like, really respects him. But now, like, everybody knows who he is. He worked hard, and he deserved this. Now, next year, you're projected to go first round in the NBA draft. What's something that you learned here from OTE that you take with you? And just like to, to be a hard worker and just put the work in more than everybody so you can like create that separation between you and the other players. Thank you, man. I appreciate you taking the time. Back to you guys. Nice, David. Is that hard work? Have, had you just worked hard, it is that hard work. Bro, it's super obvious that hard work is 1,000% like super important. <laughs> he said nobody respected Eli. <laughs> yeah, that's, that was, that's, that's, that's the only that thing I took from that. Now Seven you're going, seconds. Now you're going for 50. Three laps. You gotta, you gotta go up. Here we go. Hey, that was tough. tough. <laughs> Marshall to Cosby. Cosby pulls up. No. Dreamers up three. First quarter complete. A low scoring affair so far. They're gonna need to tighten up. We'll be back at the top of the second. Hey man, we back. Second quarter coming up, man. Closing out that game, kind of tough. Todd Burton with an in and out heavy tween tween three. I didn't even know he had that in his bag. I don't know how the hell he made that. I don't know how he made that shit. The best seats in the house, okay? Oh, I'm talking court side, okay? Now look, you see in the game up close, what would you change as a coach right now? Really nothing. Just keep taking it to the rim. That's really it. Um, we're not really shooting too many threes. I think we adjusted. But I would love a big P to get to the uh, with Don in the paint that he goes up. I would love you to do that. Okay. Now, now listen. This is what I think a lot of people got to realize, right? Even though YNG are down 0-1, they have one of the best scores in the entire league with Eli Ellis. So anything is possible. Cam, what I'll ask you is, even though they got the best score in the league, you might have the best player in the league with Carter Knox. He really is like that. He cool. He's smooth. He can't guard me, but he nice, though. Where did that come? Like, that was just, just out of I nowhere. Just thought I had to tell everybody that. Okay. Yeah. You don't, so you'll be Carter Knox one on one. For sure. You lost to Davis, buddy. I, 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 I gotta keep saying, old news. bro. It's true. Old news. We played him like two years ago. That was okay. Old news. I'm, I'm just saying, like, if you can lose to Davis, but somehow beat somebody who might be going straight to the league, he was barefoot. Like that don't count. You had no socks. Nothing. Not nothing on. Like real shit. I, the story changed every day because the first time you said you had slides on. Not even Davis to tell the story. That's kind of true. Be false, dude. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you were to do a rematch with Davis, what, what would be the score? Just to set the record straight. Up to 15, 15, 0. Up to 21, 21, 0. It's all that. Oh my goodness. But he don't want to do that. All right. <laughs> hey man, thank y'all so much, bro. Get up with y'all after this. week in OTE, we announced our season award winners. Big congrats to the league MVP. 
Eli Ellis, Defensive Player of the Year, Amari Evans, and next up, Jaden Wilkins. And we can't forget all first OTE team and first team players, second team players. What a week, man. And our own MVP, Eli Ellis, is almost cooking right now, man. We got Carter Knox out here as well, first team all OTE. Hey, fellas, how do y'all feel about the award ceremony? And did we get it right? Did we get it right? I feel like most of them was accurate. Except the last one up. What, runner up. Who, who would you have selected? Uh, probably Isaac Ellis mm. or A.O. Hey, I, I think they just got a bigger role than Wilkins. Okay. Like, and, and being the same, you know, age group and, you know. You know I think Eli, I think Eli averaging change. like 14. That's kind of tough. I mean, Isaac, 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 Isaac Ellis, yeah. he averaging like 14. He had, like, he had what, 32 yesterday? Yeah, but he had 31 yesterday, and bro. And then I talked to, I, I talked to Jaden when I was in the weight room yesterday. He said he felt like Isaac kind of took that personal that he didn't win that award and kind of came at him. Oh, oh man. Man. Like, I thought it was something to do with that. And look, look, and, and uh, Isaac, I mean, look at LeGuard and Isaac yesterday, he dropped 31. Yeah, look, they're on the same course. So just ball out, man. Oh, that was deserved it. Hey, that was so tough. His role has gotten bigger and bigger, man. Lincoln Cosby, man. Hey, that was so and tough. And he's one of the youngest players in OTE. Hey, but look, what we ain't going to do is act like Wilk is a, a, a bomb, though. He a, he a bucket, a real bucket getter. Oh, for sure. A certified bucket getter. He can beat you, Davis? Not a chance. <laughs> Yarma's on fire. Hey, now, y yeah, Yarma definitely underrated. Man. He an underrated shooter. Shooter. Old underrated hooper. Carmelo checking in. Fan favorite. All right. All right. As soon as the uh, clock starts, I'm going to start counting. Just to see if they can pick that? him out. Because the last time they took him out was super early, and he ain't deserved it. That's real. Yeah. So, so, Duke, if you look on the Dreamers, you see number seven who just checked in? Mm. Yeah, I see. That was the volume eight. So, you seen the volume sevens. That was the volume eight. Which one you like better? The sevens. Okay. That's valid. Good entry pass, Peyton Marshall. Foul call. You know, Romello has a show debuting today after the game. The streets will be watching. Yeah, it's called Romello the One, man. You know what, man? I want to, yo, shout out Evan Morton. The defense he's playing right now is actually the difference in the game. If y'all pay attention, he's getting he unswitched onto a seven foot, three hundred pound center twice. And he's actually denied him from scoring. Man, those are great odds right there, Davis. Where to be locked in, buddy? Oh yeah. Good first step from Quad. Ball gets ripped. Hard to be keeps it. That was like gold, quick first step. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blown by the <laughs> Uh oh, wow. Good defense, Great defense. Man. Here we go. Dreamer fast yeah, you, break. Yeah, you got to hold it. Isaac to Morgan. Oh, man. Oh, man. Did they want to hit that, though? That's pretty tough. Davis with the ball. Been a problem so far here today. Nice strong move. Nate in the corner. He loves that spot. That's what happens. I don't, think that's, I don't think that's a foul, personally. I think it is, man. Uh, yeah. He it's, bought some out, but he basically yeah. just like, But that's the rules of basketball. I just think they were both fighting for the rebound. Okay, so you think oh you think it's a play on that? Yes. Okay, I agree with yeah. that. I, I agree with that. I agree with that. Hey, my man. I think Quan was a little too big and uh he was trying to box out Quan. It was fighting for the ball, it was fair play. I agree. That's a play on. But you know what, man? I'm appreciative of these reps right here. I think these are some of the best reps. Yeah, better than ones from last game. <laughs> and we're not going to speak on that. Eli with the ball. Six minutes left to go here in the first half. Burton for three. Luka Blank. definitely uh, made him adjust that shot. Quan over to Nate. Nate to Wilkins. Inside to Santo. Wow. 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 Sniper Jones got a vibe cam for us. What you got, Snipe? Hey, I got Mello with me. Now, you got a brand new show that's dropping right after this called The One. Talk to us a little bit more about it. It's The One. It just shows, like, my journey for real. Like, how I be working, what I do off the court, all that. So they get to see how you living, how you working out, how you training. Give us a little bit more detail. They get to see, like, get to see me going on other stuff, like, with my brothers and stuff. Just having talks. It's just behind the scenes for real. 
And just for anybody that don't know, it's dropping right here after the game. Melo, y'all are up 1-0 against the number one seed team. What would it mean if y'all were able to get a sweep tonight? It would be great. That means you're going to the chip. And if you go to the chip, you're going to sweep that too. So, so, so if y'all go, to go to the chip, y'all sweep whoever there. That's how I'm feeling. Y'all heard it here first, man. Romello, appreciate you, brother. I already know. Back to y'all. Love the confidence. Wait, is he out already? Yeah. I, okay. I, I, I <laughs> nah, that's out of pocket, bro. That's I out knew, of pocket. No, 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 no. Bro, I nah, just sit here told y'all that I was going to be up. Uh, two seconds. Four to three. Man, launch that, huh? Uh oh, this is gonna be an. Oh, I'm about to say. Carter yeah, Knox, that's a two. Bro. No. Yeah, look at the. Hey, even though he didn't work, look at the rebound of uh, boxing out. <laughs> the Dreamers look. Oh, well, we got our first big bonus of the game. So. Dreamers committed a foul. They're over the foul limit, so big bonus opportunity for RWE. 5v4 with 14 seconds on the clock. Should get an open shot. Jay Jack over to Quan. Quan. Nate wide yeah, open. Hey, three. You know funny, no. Hey, Big Nate has become one of the best big man shooters in the league, bro. What happened? He got injured, came back, and plus 20 attribute upgrade to his three pointer. And that's what happened when you work hard to save BC. Oh, that back for Lewis. Should shot the first, man. That's that's a bad offensive possession. Man. Yeah, Nate, Nate has been great this series. He like 100 percent from the corner. Well, you missed earlier today, but yeah, I get to that. I'm not been doing vibe game, but you should you should try to work on being more statistically accurate. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> hey, hey, you know what? Your story time should be a little bit more accurate. But... Okay. <laughs> What story, what story are you referring to? Is it the the, the rank, rank one? Yeah, yes, it's, oh, okay. it's, it's the storyline where he went to an Al Jefferson training camp and <laughs> left me and actually ranked. Okay. To be I, never, I never said that though. I said uh, Al Horford. Yeah, yeah. Al Jefferson. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's from Al Horford to Al Harrington to Al Jefferson. <laughs> it's every Al in the book. None of them can help you be ranked as a point guard. Yeah. And, and nothing can help your hands get bigger after you know compares comparing the best today, man. Eli Ellis back, more and wide open three. Oh, man. No, they fight for those rebounds, though. Eli has it. That's on the ground. Stop play. Stop play when the whistle blows. Stop. You know what I said? Sound like pops. You heard that? <laughs> yep. I'm a commentator, he's yapping. It's so crazy. <laughs> Eli Ellis. Like, bro, we're supposed to yap. Eli Ellis on a drive. Eli, cross court. One to three. Yarma. Okay. Who said, 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 said we yapping? You know who to hit today, man. <laughs> Chat. How y'all feel about the Dreamer start, man? Y'all think they're starting off good? They're actually not starting off good. I agree. They're still not hitting shots. Nate, can he do you it like again? That? You like that? Oh, no, big piece too strong. Yeah. Hey, Marshall is just too big, bro. That's lucky he's supposed to be an one, too. It's crazy how, it's crazy how the Dreamers don't have good. Oh. They literally don't have a bit, man. Yeah. RW has, like, three. And they like, three All-Americans. Said that. Yarma! Oh, he gets fouled. Oh, free throws when we come back. Three of them, to be specific. 24 to 22. Dreamers up. All right, y'all, I got the chat in my hand right now. I'm with Cam Wilder. Make sure y'all ask me whatever y'all need to ask. In the meantime, Abu Yarma, okay, is, is hotter than fish grease, my brother, and I know you don't appreciate that. I don't. No, but I mean, the, Eli's not really scoring as much. And the supporting cast is shooting and hit. That's what they need to do, though. The supporting cast always got to step up. Absolutely. And also, Romello, your guy, okay? He has his own show dropping tonight after the game called The One. I know you tapping in. I'm tapping in. Are you excited for that? Yeah, it's going to be dope. I'm excited to see what he got going on. Word on the block is, I'm not going to tell you who told me this, but I'm hearing you might have a cameo in this in this season. Is, is that true or not? I don't even know. Okay. So that's, we'll not, that's not true. You know. We'll see. Okay. All right, chat, uh, somebody said, Cam, you need to come to Boston. Have you ever been to Boston before? 
Boston's on the schedule for this summer. Oh, so there we go. Hey, listen, it's a lot of hoopers in Boston. I feel like up north, we don't get enough credit because down south kind of took over with the basketball right. lane. Go to Boston. I'm pretty sure some hoopers in Boston. We're going to be up north, I think, for five different cities. You, you're not dropping off auto, but you're just letting Boston know. Yeah, we're going to be there. Okay, say that, say that. Uh, what else I got to say, man? The chat is moving extremely fast. Cam, can you please get me some James Harden? I feel like those are your statement shoes now. Everybody know you for the Harden V7. Yeah, I made a video where I, like, showed my whole sneaker collection. It was straight Hardens. I think I had, like, 30 pairs. 30 pairs of Hardens. Now, Duke over there, he said he liked the Volume 7s more than the Volume 8s. Which ones you like more? 7s. 7s more than 8s? They, they just look better. I like the 8. I think the 8 look the better. Are cool. They're more comfortable, but the 7s look better, vi like, visually. I like, it. I like the way it looks. Is it crazy if I try to get a, a, a Harden Volume 8 off with a fit? Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. Like, like casually? Yeah. No, that's crazy. Don't do that. I've seen people get the AE one off with a fit. Yeah, they shouldn't do that. Okay. All right. Hey, you, you heard it here first from Cam. <laughs> Back to the game, man. We'll see y'all in a second. Peace. Huge shout out to everyone that made the all OTE first team and second. That first team, I take it over. Most Division One programs, Eli Ellis, Ian Jackson, Carter Knox, John Bowl, and Rakeese Passmore. That is a star-studded lineup of potential future first overall picks. And the second team, Daquan Davis, there on the screen, Bryson Tiller, Ja'Kai Howard, Larry Johnson, and Michael Brown. I feel like you could interchange Rakeese Passmore and Larry Johnson for that I, first I was going to say that. I didn't want to take credit away from, uh, from Rakeese. Nah, I feel like they're both, like, even low-key. They both had great, great seasons. Yeah, bro, Blue Checks are... Man, who takes to be where the Diamond Doves are? Passmore wasn't playing so good. Shout out Diamond Doves. Man. Oh. The Mighty Doves. <laughs> oh, he's taking a touch. All right. Just under four remaining in this first half. We oh, ain't good defense, man. Only three seconds left. They got to find something. Yeah, this set's taking forever. Oh, my God. They almost got the call. Nothing, though. Yarma, he's been playing great. Push to the tempo. Pull it, Fazer. Over go. to Eli. Oh, they got Santos. Oh, oh, man. Someone find Yarma. Hey. That was a wasted That was a wasted possession. Yeah. The way Santo jumped for that three was oh, he can't keep leaving him open, man. Cosby. He's open either, man. He's, hey, he's improved so much, got so much more minutes as the season has gone on. And it's great to see that, man. Because playoff time, I feel like the minutes are more intense, man. You know, I remember back when I was ranked. Okay. Ranked in what, man? Okay. Eli Euro. Hey, hey, no cap. That was tough. No cap. That first pump fake made him jump. A little bit of misdirection. I ain't gonna say nothing, but somebody grabbed his arm while he was laying it up. I'm not speaking on that. I'm not, snitching, my boy. I'm not speaking on that anymore. Good take oh, great. from great play from Dequan Davis. Mark Davis. Yes. And uh, Lou, play a game call. Man, he just throwing those out, huh? It's Cosby with the three ball. Cosby playing a lot of minutes here today so far in the first half. Whistle, referees working out the details. They tried to get a sub in, but it wasn't time yet. Eli with the ball. Two minutes left to, yeah, the game clock was paused for a second. What a cross court, three ball, foul. A charge called. It's a, not a foul. Yeah. For uh, kicking out his feet. I'm gonna say it, that's a bad call. All right, I'm done, I'm done. All right, I'm done. And now we're both. Because uh, we made Asian were talking about this yesterday. Uh, well, actually, no, no. <laughs> like, think, look at that, and you think well, the no, no, offensive no. player created the contact? Well, you don't think? It, uh, that's it. That's either a, it's no a weird. It's a, a weird, weird one. one. It's a weird one, though, low key. When you're, when you're, unless you're shooting a catch and shoot, you're, sometimes you got to kick your them. feet to balance yourself while you shoot. That's crazy. Quad. Oh, man. How do you stop that? You can't. I slick think, I'm not joking, I think they can run that like probably six times a game. Tie ball game. Eli has it. They're playing some tough defense on him. Yeah, <laughs> about time. Quan though doesn't like the call.
We should get Peyton Marshall in OTX. <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> Chad, who y'all think the best boxer is on the broadcast, man, currently? Davis, which, which YouTuber would you fight at OTX? Eli open three. Oh, wow. Boy. I had a sniper, agent. Uh-oh, showtime. Yo, I'm a fast. As oh, oh. Really fast. Anyway, I had a sniper, Duke, myself, and agent. Who y'all got, chat? At a boxing. Talk to me. Well, I'd, I'd, at least, I'd at least beat Davis, for sure. Snipe, you box? I box for like three months, man. Okay. First half actions coming to a close, but we got the OTE halftime coming up next. That's highlights, a feature on Samto's recovery to get back with RWE and a sneak peek at Romello's new show dropping tonight on OTE YouTube. So stick with us. It's a lot. Hey, if he hits this, I'm about to say, we have a oh, great rebound from JJ. I feel like Nate and Eli traded three-point powers. <laughs> Oh, man, who y'all got winning this game? Uh, we, we, we all got uh, the Dreamers. Okay. We just didn't think Eli was going to have a, a horrible game like he did last time, but, well, you know. <laughs> Let's see Isaac get some shots up, too. Yeah, it's Yarma stepping up right now for the Dreamers. Honestly, considering how inconsistent they've been shooting, I'm surprised it's only a two-point game. I agree. I felt like it was like that yesterday, too. Morton for three. He hits. We got the Dreamer role player stepping up in a big way today. Oh, yeah. If I'm Eli, I got us here. Can y'all help now? Run. That's when you need your stars to step up the most. Sniper. Juan misses. Rebound goes straight to Nate. <laughs> he kicks across court. J Jack drives and oh, J -Jack. misses. I think I, I got bumped there. 38 seconds left. That's a little two for one here. Good call out, AJ. You like that? I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Don Lewis, Lewis for three. Yeah, you know, no, 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 Don Lewis has almost been out. Oh, oh my God, he didn't cross himself out. And Quan blew it. He been in the slump. I've, been, I've never seen Don Lewis shoot this bad for this long. Yeah. Warren, over to Eli. 12 left, you might as well wait. I think he was expecting the call, doesn't get it. Now RWE on the counter, Quan this time he connects. Wow, rough way to end that first half. Eli goes straight to the referee to make his case, but 33 to 32 has been a close one. Uh, a defensive affair, if I should say so myself, man. 100%, man, it's that playoff basketball. They've been playing great defense, man. Been beautiful to see. Yeah. The Dreamers not shooting all that great, but still just down one here heading into the second half. It's been, a, it's been an interesting game, if I should say so, man. It's Daquan Davis. He's been having a good first half so far. Been really aggressive, Davis. Man, cooking up, man. Doing what he needs to do. Get into his spots. Being a leader for this team. Yes, sir, man. Hey, we're joined with him right now. What up, Quan? How you doing, man? What's good? How y'all? Chilling. Hey, you guys have a chance to sweep the Dreamers. Um, you think you can do it? Yes, sir. What is, like, you might have figured out, you might be the first team to figure out how to stop Eli. He's been struggling game one and so far here at game two. What's been the key? Um, just playing like any other team would play him. We just play more aggressive. By aggressive, you mean like full court press, trap? Throwing different actions at him, different than I, full court press, trapping him, he did the thing. Yeah, all right. Uh, what's your thoughts on Peyton Marshall last game? Um, Peyton just defended me, you know, blew up on me and my nose, so he got him back. Got you, man. You get back to the locker room. Appreciate you for joining us. And thank you for joining us. We got an exciting halftime show coming up, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Man, we're excited because there's more basketball coming up, and I'm reading the chat. A lot of y'all are going RWE crazy. Some of y'all out of pocket. I'm not going to hold you. First off, I read in the comments that Eli is complaining too much. I'm not going to lie. Last night, I got a chance to talk to him after the game, 
He told me he didn't feel like a lot of those foul calls were going in his favor. So I think he's getting a little irritated. I think this game, he felt like he's getting roughed up a little bit. But, hey, it's basketball. It's physical. So you might see him talking to the refs a little bit, but that's probably why. Also, people want to know, right, can Nelson play for RWE? Well, unfortunately, he can't play here. Nelson's too young. When he get older, I can definitely see Nelson playing here. That's up to Nelson, though. I think if Nelson did come here, though, that would, that would be, that'd probably be tough. Um, is Nate better than Samto? I'm going to be honest. I feel like Nate and Samto, even though they're both big men, they have two different job titles. Nate's job title is kind of to be like a point forward. He can shoot the three. He can push the break. You might see him on the perimeter. But Samto, he's more of a defensive menace, okay? He's going to block shots, get rebounds, and probably get 13 dunks and seven honey dips a game. So it really depends on which more you value most, all right? They're both really good big men. Um, YNG is selling. I don't think YNG selling. I just think that when you play the basketball game like YNG, they live and die by the three, sometimes you don't make three-point shots, and that can really hurt because you get a team like RWE, they got a lot of players that can get to the basket. You got Carter Knox, who's a McDonald's All-American. And if Santo was healthy the entire year, he would, too, be a McDonald's All-American. He has the talent. He's headed to Kentucky. So it's a little lopsided only because they get into the basket, and YNG is settling for the three. However, hey, man, don't go nowhere. Halftime show coming up next. Welcome to the OTE Halftime Show, man. I could not be more excited to bring it to you. It is your boy, Sniper Jones, alongside me, my guy, Cam Wilder. How you doing, man? Hey, I'm amazing, man. Let's talk about it, bro. First half was amazing. RWE kind of closed out the quarter correctly. Meanwhile, YNG looking like they still struggling from like they did yesterday in game one. They're not making shots. Yeah, they're not. But luckily, the supporting cast, Yabu Arma, and uh, there's another guard. I forgot his name, but they're both stepping up in a big way. Ty Burton? Yes, he's stepping up in a big way. Eli's struggling a little bit. He's complaining about fouls. It's going to have to happen, though. Playoff basketball, uh, RW's got to play rough with him, uh, be strong. But uh, I think if the supporting cast keeps playing well, I think Dreamer's not playing too well, and they're only down one. I think they're in a good position. Absolutely. I want to ask you this, though, right? Sampto, him being back, a Kentucky commit. He would have been a McDonald's All-American if he played the whole season, but now we're starting to see him play and, and kind of get his own in the playoffs. No, for sure. Uh, he is a rim protector. He It's just his presence on the court makes people want to shoot. Dreamers can get to the rim if they want to. They're blown by people, but Sampto just being there in general makes them kick it out and play different kind of basketball. Um, and he's an excellent lob throw on the offensive end. Speaking of Santo, he wasn't healthy the entire season. Let's check out his road to recovery to be back for his RWE team. I would describe my basketball game as, uh, you know, uh, showtime. Kentucky Wildcats, Santo Siri. Best player of the year. You might have noticed Samto not in the lineup with the left hand injury. Not having Samto is always going to be a big hit. One of the most dominant big men in the entire country. Um, then we'll be prepped to with the hand specialist to let him determine what the next steps are moving forward. Yeah, hopefully not. I get quit so I can play again. Yeah, not playing. I think that's yeah, that's the the most difficult. She's on the sideline with other people playing stuff. Yeah. It gets a little antsy not being able to play, not being able to participate with his team. Hey, How are you doing? How are you all doing? Good. So it looks good. It actually looks really good. It's about 90% 90, 90 heal, okay? You all right? <laughs> you just happy? If I said no to regular season, yes to playoffs, would you be okay with that? All right, so where are we going? Uh, we're going to the gym right now. So I got to walk out. It's a steady process. You got to like, you know, guard it every day. You got to be consistent. And um, I think I'm ready for whatever I'm. The biggest lesson I've learned so far is um, regardless of what happens, I will always come out on top. I'm so back in the lineup. I'm excited, man. If we win, I don't think. There's nothing else to prove. Checking in for the first time in two months, man. And I believe we can win everything. Now with Santo back, RWB looks more dangerous than ever. Hey, 
right, man. Santo might just be one of the most scariest players in the country, bro. Yeah, for sure. Nobody wants to go against him. You don't want to play against him. He's a bruiser, blocks every shot, catches every lob, can jump out the gym. He's honey dipping in game. Absolutely. He's a problem. Hey, check this out, right? My player comparison for him, none other. Shaquille O'Neal. Come on, bro. That um, is Baby Shaq, if I ever seen a Baby Shaq in my life. Baby Shaq. Yes. I see Dwight Howard. I see Dwight Howard to him now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but, I don't but, know about hey, Shaq. Hey, hey, listen, man. Uh, they both Superman. They both Superman. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, we mentioned the tallest player on RWE. Now, let's talk about the shortest player on RWE, Romelo Hill. Okay. Did you know that he had his own show coming out? I did. Let's check it out. All we got right, a CP. Let's check. I'm 15 years old and live a crazy life. There's another closet over here. <laughs> My mom is a world famous singer. How much are you from the end? Well over 200,000. I play at OT under the bright lights. Come on, Romelo. And I have to balance family, friends, school, and fame. Bro, why don't they say you're like Ellis, bro? I'm going to start you in the second half. You miss, I swear you're coming out. I miss. There's anyone who can do it. Wait a minute. No. I'm the one. Guys, do not forget Romelo, the one, will be dropping right after this, so make sure y'all check it out. But, hey, more basketball coming up in the second half. we see y'all later. Peace. Women's basketball is really taking off, and overtime is a huge part of that. They always approach us with positive vibes. Overtime select. It's kind of like a gateway. Women get a chance to like do their thing in basketball just like men can do. It's a way for us to continue to uplift women's basketball and help them become the best that they can be on and off the court. Competing with the best players, the content we're going to create, the connections we're going to make. I'm just so excited for it all. You cannot beat us. Welcome to OT7. Incredible ballers having the time of their life. They're going crazy. Have you ever seen players have more fun than this? Then this is the place for you. We are ready for an action-packed night of boxing. It's about giving the boxers more opportunities. This is OTX Friday Night Fight. He just got blasted. Bring me my stats, and he is looking to eat right now. OTX, we go to an overtime round. OTX Boxing is still undefeated. If you want to play above the ring, you got to be locked in. But if you bait, it could hold back the entire team from rising to the occasion. Babes can contain toxic chemicals that could damage your lungs and the team. All right, let's get back to the game. One bucket can change the momentum of the entire game. If there's one weak link, the whole team suffers. So remember, babes can contain toxic chemicals that can damage your lungs and the team. All right, let's get back to the game. Welcome back. Second half action here, semifinals. OTE playoff basketball's win or go home for the Dreamers. They lose, man. Uh, the bus. Get on it, man. Head back to North Carolina. Think about what you did, man. First seed of Dreamers looked a little shaky out there, fellas. Man, honestly, they're still not necessarily hitting threes. Two thirty-five percent is better than yesterday. But, but I think that's scary for RWE because it's like, like this is a close game with the Dreamers not doing good. Yeah. Yeah, Eli Ellis just 15 points away from breaking the OTE scoring record. Not used to seeing him cold in general. But he's been doing a good job of playmaking, getting his teammates involved. And honestly, his teammates have been stepping up. Morin's been hitting some shots, Yarma as well. And they've been a little crafty and getting the rebounds as well. I think, I think that this is the last half the Dreamers have. What? So you think they're losing? If, if, if I know what I'm saying, like, if they don't get they, if they, if they don't get together, this is the last, last half of the season. Yeah, it really is, man. My question to y'all would be like, 
would they be underachieving if they lose to yes. the RWE? 100%. Because uh, I feel like RWE is in. the better team. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. What? Hey, he's been whooping that every morning. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yo, what? <laughs> that just shows you everybody's everybody OT is actually tough, man. I feel like if the Dreamers win this series, I feel like that would be actually a, a upset. Well, the, the only no 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 the only reason they can look at that is because if you're looking at you're looking at peak potential RWE right now. No, I'm looking at the actual roster. I'm that's looking what, at no, that's what I'm saying. This is their first time hitting peak potential. But based off of OTE standards, you would. Uh, Yeah, Dreamers is the first seeded team with the league MVP. The expectation for sure should be championship. But people feel like they up, like it was an upset for them to be for a seed. Yeah, I agree, but you can only be underdogs for so long. Was that insane? Just not the best break. Yeah. Yeah. Lewis, he gotta, he gotta start doing something. Oh man. Foul called as Yarma tried driving in the corner. Nice battle here between Carter Knox and Eli Ellis. Probably the two most exciting teams here at OT, in my personal opinion. It's crazy, too, because I literally think next round will be so much easier for whatever team. Just in terms of matchups, yeah. I guess. Yeah, you're right. Yarma, can he do it again? No. Quan jumps, gathers the rebound, and it's Nate. You can tell he wants it. What a, what a great deny by Yarma. I'm serious. Quan! Loved it. So they're kicking your foot out as an offensive foul. Throwing your hand out like that should be too, in my humble opinion. Morton, Clank. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab the ball. Yarma just too tired to hustle to it. Nate over to Knox for the fast break layup. Look at that, he's soft. <laughs> Isaac gets a switch on Santo. Athletes, man. Those some athletes. Just a little bit of fast break offense. It's Coach Ellis. Traditional coach, but with like a new school approach. A lot of three pointers. Dreamers known for the high volumes of threes they throw up, and usually they be making them. So they blow out teams, but against RWE, this series hasn't felt quite like that. I wonder if they're just not. If they're not hitting shots, or if RWE's just playing back at defense. Did, did the, hey, do y'all think that the Dreamers had a big first, first seed? Nah. Okay. Nah. Five out, you got it, you got it, five out. So, so you think they just had two bad games? Yeah, I think this is just, I think this is just the first time we've seen full potential RWE. Nah, I agree. Go, go, go. I don't. I don't agree with full potential RWE because this is bad dreamers. Uh, this is bad. No, yeah, but I think I think it's bad dreamers due to it being full potential RWE. I agree. RWE is playing. Go, they're go, just, go. There's so much, like there's a, a okay, significantly look. bigger team and it's a whole bunch of McDonald's All Americans. Okay, hit just hit me out. Four for three. He connects. Just hit me out though. If this is peak RWE, how is the dreamers winning right now? Oh, uh, I think Dreamers is the better team. No, what? not what on paper. What are you talking about? Dreamers played better than RWE all season long. Facts or not? Yes. Yeah. RWE yeah. hasn't had a full roster all season long, though. But I'm saying, y'all saying that this is peak RWE, but bad Dreamers is beating, it is tied up with peak WE. That's what I'm saying. I agree. So what is what is the Bro, the I'm ultimate so like, so statement to I'm this? Not personal, no more. I think that. The Dreamers just having a bad game. I think the Dreamers is better than RWE in general. Really? I, I agree. Yeah, because, bro, Eli's having a horrible game. Okay. Uh, Isaac is, he's doing all right. Never mind, he's having a horrible. <laughs> he has two points. <laughs> and, and, and they are still. Boy, that's a crazy pass to me. Yarma, no, Eli for three. He hits. 
Great shot. Hopefully he can get going, man. I'd love to see him go off. But in, 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 your, in my defense, though, dude, Santo got two points and Carter but got no, seven. But, what, but so they ain't been playing well either. Santo's not known for his yeah, points. Yeah, Santo's not known for points. Very casual take right there. Wait, and so so so, so it's, it's okay for Santo to have yeah. two points in the second half? He ain't got to be known for points to have more than two points. Knox drives. Oh, My dog called it on don't, don't my dog Don Lewis, man. <laughs> Get up, boo, don't Don Lewis, man. Man, damn, Davis' hey, jaw just dropped. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, 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 that's, that's what come with the game, Don. Man, Don wasn't nearly high enough. Carter Knox just floated past <laughs> and put that one home. Man, he just pulls that out of nowhere. There, I'm told you, there's a small select list of people that can go for dunk attempts every possession. Yarma, he wants it, he takes it. And he misses. Show me some, Carter. Gotta Carter really can... those big bonuses, man. He might go for it. <laughs> he like it. Dang! Yo, the last thing I'd want is a seven footer <laughs> diving, at my, <laughs> diving, <laughs> diving at my ankles, man. <laughs> Yo, bro. Now I'm still getting some pretty heavy minutes, man. Yep. Most I've seen him play is since they picked up Peyton Marshall. Another big bonus here. Hopefully the Dreamers, for the sake of Coach Ellis, can convert. For the sake of Coach Ellis. And they don't. They turn it over, Davis. They do, Agent. Jay Jack to go to the Knox. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, how did he make that pass? That's insane. Hey, 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 that was very, that was, that was underrated right there. Carter Knox plays like he's already pro. Eli Ellis, a couple spins later. Back out, Morton fade. Insane. Missed everything, RWE up one. Just under four minutes left to go here in the third quarter. We'll be right back. Did Carter Knox just catch the body of the year, bro? Nah, I need more contact. If there was more contact, it would been body of the year. Bro, that was a... It was a low-key body. Like, he didn't really make no contact. I, you've never even ducked on nobody like that before. How you gonna take away that man? That sky zone. That don't count, bro. No, it do for sure. It do. To me, it do. All right, chat. What we got? What we gotta ask Cam, man? Cam, people are asking you, would you like to have Isaac Ellis on your team? Would you make a trade? No. Why would you wanna have one of the best young players in OTE on your team, man? I like my team. As is, you wouldn't trade it for nothing. Nobody. Could Davis get minutes on your team? Who? Davis. <laughs> no. Great decision. Um, who else? We got people saying Eli's the best. Actually, Eli, it looked like he may be starting to heat up. He hit a big three. What have y'all been doing to kind of keep him under the wraps these two games? Make somebody else beat us. It's just simple as that. Make somebody else beat us. He averages 33 a game. He's the MVP. You shut him down, make everybody else beat us, we'll be all right. That's probably why we're seeing big numbers from, like, Abu Yarma. We're seeing people like Evan Morton get their fair share. Mainly because the main focus is just to shut down the main guy, Eli. Exactly. That's all you got to do. Just shut him down. We'll be all right. All right. Last question. Hey, I don't know about you, but if my coach was telling me you're not shooting enough as a shooter, that's that's music to my ears. I'm by Coach Ellis all the time. He's repeatedly saying, shoot more threes. Is that not like a match made in heaven for a shooter, bro? A player's coach is the best coach. Straight like that. Player's coach is the best coach. If he tells you to shoot, you're going to shoot that ball. Are you a player's I'm coach, a bro? player's coach. If you're not shooting, I'm going to yell at your face tell you to shoot the ball. So you let people, do you call plays or are you more like freestyle? Just let them go out there and do their thing. Uh, I'll have one set. One set, everything else, just be smart, play ball. What's the one set? Just really DHOs, dribble handoffs, something simple, nothing too crazy. Now y'all owe me. Anybody who's going against RWE in the summertime, you know exactly wow, what they're doing. <laughs> Thank me later, man. I'll catch y'all later for the rest of the game. Carter Knox had a great game, game one. He was in and out, though, due to cramps, so <laughs> he had to take a break. Today looks fully hydrated, and hopefully 
He can be in the entire game, help lead his team to a championship, or to a finals, I should say, as Nate almost loses it. Who's the best player talent-wise in OTE? Is it Knox? Yeah, or is it Eli? I like Cannon in that word, conversation, The too, word though. talent is such a weird word, though. I think, I think Cannon okay, catches both before, before, and I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to yap right now. I'm just... Okay, who's, who's a more talented player, LeBron or Kim Durant? LeBron. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, but I know because some people. Yeah, but you can argue KD. You can make an argument. No, 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 no. The answer is just how you. The reason I ask that is to see how they're the, the defining talent, yeah. right? So then the answer is Karnas. The answer is who? If you're if you're saying like if you, the answer is Karnas. By how, how you answer that KD LeBron question. Okay. Yeah. I still say Eli, but I think Carter Knox. I feel like people feel like he has more potential just due to his size. Oh, looks like he has a, oh, never mind. Snipe almost got clobbered. He was trying to catch a five cam three. for the big bonus. Yarma, back out, shoot more threes, he said. Boom. Frank. Frank. Horton has so much yeah, confidence the way he pulls up. He's been huge, man. Horton's like a perfect role player. Like, he never needs to do too much, but when you, when you need him, he steps up. Playing some tough defense, too. Jay Jack drives and gets fouled on the, he's wild, on the layup. Hello, hey, we can go to that every time. Jay Jack heads to the line. Tie ball game opportunity to put his team up. Get up, get up, get up. Come on, we good. Hey. Team is scooping come on, without. Come on, come on, come on. Sudden. Keep fighting, keep Coach fighting. Coach Frazier there. Hey, need somebody off. Has to be pretty proud of his team, man. They had their woes the first half of the season, but they've, man, this get, get is close. Get one, get one, get a stop. They've pulled it together in perfect timing, man. Chance to take a trip to the finals with a win here today. Now, who doesn't love chips to the final? Unless it's an Indiana, man. <laughs> I, say, I, say, I say Morris is shooting, man. He's, he's been going crazy. Three seconds, Morris. That's, that's that tender for sure. Yeah, I think I agree. Oh, they caught a foul, oh, they too. Call. So. They was on the way up, no foul. They, they didn't call it. They didn't call it. Yeah, that's actually impossible for that not to be going to. Uh, no, 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 it's definitely on close, but I, I lean towards. Yeah, let's see. It's down. That's so close, that's bro. That's so close. Oh, yeah, you're right. 100,000% that's not right. That's yeah, no, right. you cannot change it. You cannot. No. Oh, that's nasty. No, they're not doing that. <laughs> that yeah, that's nasty. No, that's nasty. Clean. Clean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. On the floor. We Chat. shoot two. We Chat. shoot two. Chat. Chat. Hey, you got to rotate and talk. Hey. Pre-makeup call. Stacked out, stacked out. 100% yeah, pre-makeup call. <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, he missed it, too. Tough. Jack, how do you feel about that? Is that go to the no? Catch on this side so you can work on that baseline. Catch on this side. I'm going to send Lincoln to you. got this whole side to work on. Goes one for two at the line. Clear, clear, oh, boy, Lee, man. clear. Oh, loses it, and here we go. Wide open. Layup. And that's the, that's the end one he deserved. Oh, oh, oh. That might be a T2. Huh? And then a potential delay of... No, they didn't go up. Yeah, Dreamers get the ball. Great play from Eli. Just stole a possession. Stay! Stay! Stay there! Here he comes! Oh, they're running wide receiver us. Yeah, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the definitely... After those mistakes. Uh, Eli Post gets pinned by Samto. He was expecting a goaltend. Oh, Samto is so important, bro. Knox gets tripped and fouled. I wish I got. Oh. Is this a. F oh, no. Okay. That's just tough. Austin. That's tough. <laughs> that's very tough. Yeah, nah, that's a clean block. He just walked up.
Looks like Snipe has a vibe cam. What up, Snipe? All right, so listen, you have to break down this fit for me right now. It, it, it's a lot going on. Let me see. Okay, right back up. Is this like Hogwarts meet, meet, meet street meet streetwear? Is that what this is right now? Well, unfortunately, what's going on right now is I ended up losing a challenge to this dude right here. He, uh, he actually cheated and beat me in a half-court challenge, so now I have no choice but to wear this. Somehow he found some Stranger Things flaming pants. I got on some crazy shoes right now. I look like a grandma at the same time. And I got a wand. So he picked out the entire fit. Full fit. I don't know what. I, I just gotta, I gotta rock it. You feel me? If, if anyone asks, I just gotta be like, it was in my closet, bro. The looks that I got today were absolutely crazy. But now, if you would have won, would you would have made him wear something that's crazy? Would you? No, even crazier. I, I probably would have made him wear a dress. He, he, I'm surprised he didn't put me in a dress. They, uh, man. All right, man, hey, no more losing to Lil' Bro, though. Next time, you got to get the job. Hey, but at least, like, this is matching, though. You see it? I see what you do. I see what you're doing there. Little thing matching. Hey, but I will never lose to him again. On me. Say that, bro. Appreciate you. Back to y'all, the pool. Yeah. Yeah. Look like you got dressed by Am Davis this morning. Yeah, you're those, those, will, those, those that, will never hit. Those seen, will never hit. I seen that coming. Yeah, it don't never hit. Oh, darn. It's not the same. Man, Lewis has been. The done is cool. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Oh, hey, Jack is such a bug. Never mind. <laughs> well, he is a bug. Yeah, he is 100% a bug. Yet. We might have to speak on the Aunt Davis curse. Eli drives right all the way. Nice draw move. And what? Whistle blown. I wonder what happened. Let me see. I'm going to try to walk up to the refs to see what's going on real quick. Boy, what if he just threw you out? Eli just 10 points away from getting that. Mr. Ref, Mr. Ref, can you tell me, can you tell me what happened, Mr. Ref? <laughs> Mr. Ref. <laughs> Mr. Ref. The ref is ignoring me with all his might right now. Mr. Ref, can you, can you explain what happened today? This is crazy. Okay, so somebody smacked the ball this on somebody bad, here. Man. Okay. Their man nice. grabbed the ball and hey, Second delay game, I guess like somebody had the basketball and they smacked the basketball out. You gotta go catch. What? Gotta go catch. So can we see hey, what was going on? No face. Available if you need an extra. There it is. Wow. The ball almost oh, stolen. Payne Marshall too big. Oh. Jay Jack on the drive. Good pass inside the Bosby for the slam. Isaac over to Morton. That's why he's taking that. That's a good shot. Um, yeah, the, their closing out literally makes so much of a difference. Good tip there from Don. Ball tossed up to Eli. You know he's taking it. Nice. Was so tough. Very nice, Euro. That was so tough. Slow motion, Euro's are the best. Only five seconds left in the quarter. Hold on. Carter Knox. He's pulling up. Deep three. Oh, Mark. 53 to 50. Dreamers fight to stay alive. They lose this one. They start the bus and go home. They win. They fight to see game three. We'll be right back. Man, Cam, closing out the game, going into the fourth quarter. Y'all are down three right now, okay? Good news is you can afford to lose a game. Bad news for the Dreamers, they can't afford to lose a game. Talk to me. Can we afford to lose a game? You're not going home if you lose. Do we want to be 1-1 one -one with them? Not at all. Yeah, yeah, because I still don't feel like Eli has played his best basketball yet. That's what I'm saying. He has yet to go off, and that, that could be next game. That could be fourth quarter. I don't think we can afford to lose a game. Something I love about here at overtime, all the other quarters are eight minutes, but the fourth quarter, that's when you really get to see who's cooking, okay? It's the longest quarter we have. It's the biggest chance of a comeback or an upset. Are you nervous heading into the fourth quarter? Or you think y'all got what it takes? Down three. It wouldn't hurt to say I'm a little, little nervous. Just a little nervous. None too crazy. Just a little nervous. Now, I see you sitting next to the Newmans, and you seen the outfit as far as I seen the outfit. What do you, what do you rate in that fit? Okay. Tell my, tell my Noah's fit. Actually, yeah, what do you rate Noah's fit? So when he walked in, I, I wanted to be like, I don't know him. Okay. I don't. You disown him. him. I don't know who that kid is. Right, Stuff like that. 
because I can't be seen with someone that okay, is dressing okay, like that right okay, now. That's crazy work. This owning your friend, is, that, that's out of pocket. Friend? Okay. Oh, all right. Yeah, he just, he just, uh, uh chat. What do, we, what do we have in the chat right now? Cam, tell Nathan, tell Nelson I have a bracelet for him. Uh, maybe it's a friendship bracelet. I, I have no idea what type of bracelet it this might is. Be a French lip bracelet, something like that. Nothing too crazy. Uh, if you have it, just give it to me. I won't give it to him. Just I'll wear it. I'll wear it. Maybe you should get a P.O. box or something like that so yeah, they can, they can like send that. those, yeah. something, something like that. Who is your NBA comparison? Who, like, just who I play like? James Harden. Don't. I, see. That's who I play like. Everybody's delusional. Okay. Do you believe that Davis was ranked? No, if I had to say somebody that I play like, it's James Harden. Okay. I watch his film, like, every damn day. Back to you guys. I want to take this time right here to shout out the Adidas Six fan, Preston Eccles from Auburn, Alabama. Preston's favorite NBA player, Kevin Durant, his favorite team here at OTEs, the City Reapers, and his favorite player, Bryson Tiller. Thanks for being a super fan here at OTE. Snipes join with him right now. Yes, sir. I'm with him right now as we speak. Man, you kind of tall, bro. How tall are you? 6'4". You 6'4". How old are you? 15. So you're 6'4", and you're 15 years old. I know you a bucket, right? Yeah. What position do you play? Uh, power forward, small forward. All right, so you play small forward. You'd probably be like a two-guard when you when you go to high school, or probably, depending on what team you're on. What's your game like? Who do you play like? Uh, Bryson Tiller and Brandon Miller. Brandon Miller. I like that. A lot of people don't, don't say Brandon Miller. He hooping right now. To your RWE fan, I know you thinking y'all gonna get the W tonight, right? Yeah. What's the score prediction? Uh, probably like 80 to 80 to 65. Earlier today, you got to meet some of the members from AMP. Who in AMP could you be 1v1? Dude. Oh my goodness. I agree. You 6'4? You got a little bit of bounce. Can you jump? Yeah. You got a handle? Uh-huh. Over, under, I'm taking you, bro. I appreciate you. All right, back, back, back. Back to you guys. Okay, listen. That, that was insane because, listen, it was only insane because he didn't say... Like, I'm not going to say B. You know what I'm saying? Like, like there's, there's, look, there's five more other questions that he could have answered. He could have said. He could have said Kyle. That's reasonable, though. No, the, the reason, let me explain why I think it's reasonable. No, no, no. He could have said Kyle. No, but listen, there's there's certain matchups that work out better for other, you know, for different people. And so a 6-2 matchup is... 6-4. Six 6-4. Four. Six four. Yeah. I'm his 6-2 matchup. That's what I'm saying. I think he's beating me. So you, you've never seen him play or something. Just <laughs> being honest. Nah, I don't think you do. You gotta think when, like, you play as much this basketball is, as Davis and you've been nationally ranked, you know talent when you see this it. This is grown man strength right now. I don't care how tall he is. He's not over 18. He's not beating me. This is grown man strength right here. Jay Jack drives left. No! Smoke. Bomso had it right there. Eli missed more and he was wide open, but he's being hounded right now, loses it. And that's your defensive anchor right there making a play. Daquan Davis. You could see YNG getting visibly upset at the referees. I, I, Eli specifically, but I just saw Isaac sounding off too. Oh, Evan is fast. Evan is very fast. I mean, listen, man. Yo, yo, bro, bro. bro. That's heavy, bro. That's heavy. Y'all remember Daquan heavy. coming into the season? We was all talking about his defense. Now he's averaging like 20 a game. Bro, that was heavy. That was heavy. Hard, hard. RWE up one here. Fourth quarter, man. It's winner go home if you're a dreamer. Don't let out. Don't let out. Don't fail. Play, 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 huh? Go, 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 go. there. Dreamer is on the fast break. Up to Morton. You know he wants it. All the way. Left hand. Man, he's been so big for them today, man. 19 points. Hey, man. And you playoffs, you need your role players to, to, to come alive. Leading score for the team. Oh. He's a freshman, ladies and gentlemen. That's impressive. He could be, he could be tough, man. In the next few years. Eli thought about it. Morton for sure pulls up. In and out. Hey, two, 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 one. And Dreamer is season on the line right now. Oh yeah. I don't think a lot of people had them getting swept on their bingo card. They're going to have to pull it together here to survive. This is a really tough matchup for them, man. That's a good pass and a great take from Knox. They are fighting out there. I'll be honest. 
be honest. I wouldn't even know what offense to run for the Dreamers right now. But I say, I say, bro, you just, I say you just depend on Eli. That's, that's really, bro. There, there's a, yeah. Like, like, that's really the only thing they can. That's a foul, man. Oh, but that, that's the issue. The issue is, though, yeah. Like, 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 now it's like, Eli, you, I need you. Yeah, you, know, you definitely do. You definitely do. Like, I need you. There's nobody else on this, on this. There we go. 61 to 55. When we come back, Eli heads to the line. See if you can close this six point gap. We'll be right back. Hey, man, I never realized how tall these players was until they got literally this close. Cam, you say you like 6'4", right? Yeah, something like that. Well, you actually look like you belong, bro. Like, you look like you actually, you know what I'm saying, belong out here on the court. When I get out here, it's like me and Romello and everybody else. You and Romello? Yeah. That's like the yeah, only person I can look at out of eye. He's a little shorter than you. A little? Don't be disrespectful, bit. buddy. That's okay. Romello like 5'5". He, 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 like, he like right here. You no, him. But you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> you're literally lying. <laughs> All right, man, let's see what the chat got to say, man, because the chat going crazy right now for this game. You got 30,000 people watching right now. So right now they're That's going hard. crazy. That's, That's tough. Um, people are saying, who is the Jokic of OTE? Do we have a Jokic of OTE? Who plays like Jokic? Jokic? Nah, we don't got a Jokic here. I, 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 this might sound crazy, but for what we got to pick from, the closest thing to Jokic would probably be Big Nate. No. Yeah, bro, he the only big that can really play, make, shoot, Not dribble, score. Hell no. But who, who, who else would you pick? Like, if you if you had to, like everybody in OT. Yeah. Nobody. Okay. Nobody right. play like Jokic. That's it. You're right. There's only one Jokic in the world, though, bro. I'm not. I'm not gonna hold you. If people want to know, how you feeling, Cam? How am I feeling? Blessed son and best Saturday night. Watching them boys win. Hopefully, RW can go to the finals, man. I'm feeling blessed. How are you? How are you feeling? You good? I'm good, man. Some people want you to go to Hemerson, Oregon. I don't know if you ever coming out to Hemerson. No. Okay. All right. No, yeah. no for Hemerson. Well, we will go to Seattle, though. That's on the list. Okay. So, so if you live in Hemerson, come out to Seattle. Also, people want to know, Cam, how often do you work out a week? I train three times a week with him, and I usually have. Who's your trainer? Right here. He nice? Yeah. He, he cold. And then I tr and I have three basketball games a week. Ooh. Damn near Monday through Friday. Cam showed me a stat line. He plays in the men's league. He scored seven points, three assists, and five turnovers. It's kind of impressive. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm sorry tonight. You're lying. You're lying. <laughs> Peace. We got the cash tab lockdown of the game. Highlight the best defensive play. And, man, at this point, we might as well just make it to the default. But it's Santo again. A little bit of help defense. Pin the ball. As Eli was trying going up for the layup. Samto is just racking up those cash app lockdowns. Congratulations to Samto. And Eli at the line now. Chance to make it a four point game. Our expectations for the Dreamers and for Eli have just skyrocketed. Seeing them win games over and over and over again this season. Close game with a lot of a lot of clock though. Yeah, it can really go either way, man. And Eli is just six points away from breaking that OTE scoring record. Look at that, Cardinals nice. downhill. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So so nasty. What do you do about that? I don't know. I, I don't know. Like I don't know, man. He's yeah. hunting for it. Drives reverse. What a move! And just four points away from breaking that all-time scoring record. Carter Knox. Carter Knox, he feeling that. Oh, I'm loving this back and forth. I'm loving this. Oh, Carter Knox is so tough, man. I just said he got nine points. And now he got 21. <laughs> Eli Ellis gets the switch, has Peyton Marshall on him, pulls up. Ooh. Dreamer 
Bears gonna have to win this one on defense, man. They gotta stop all of us. Or he looked. He Jay, looked. Jay Jack was there for him. They're going in and Peyton Marshall. Travel called. That's Great tough. defense from Lewis. <laughs> Eli, 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 he scratched me, look. That's tough. He actually has blood in, in a I cut got, wrist. I, I, I was noticing, if you look at his, his wrist and his arms, it's really, really red. A lot of scars. They're playing really tough defense on him. Uh, Eli might clothesline somebody right now. Football pass, Eli catches it. And then the layup. Hey, man, no count. I think everybody is seeing Eli get BT <laughs> and Batista bombs right man, now. I, and, I, and the reason, and you know what? I think I'm so passionate about this because I was explaining it to AJ yesterday. I said, if you're really good, I'm telling you, stop getting whistles. I promise, and, and we've we, seen it happen. We see that every time you're almost about to get 50. You know, he's just two points away from that record, David. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think the record is not important right now. No, the record is important. It's happening right now. Hey, AJ, I told you that at the beginning of the series, and it's been in full display. I need you to please apologize to me for not 100% believing. I'm telling you, Jimmy Highroller just but, No, we're not talking about Jimmy Highroller. We're not talking about, we're talking about this. Was I 100% unequivocally correct? Nah. They're just playing rough out there, man. It's just tough basketball. You got to toughen up. I will never reference another. I'm just saying, everybody's, like, people are casual. Hacked. People are getting hacked, man. Another casual again. I mean, it's better than last last game's fourth quarter, where it was just nonstop foul calls. As Eli off the glass, no. Salto made him adjust the shot. Great defense from Salto right there, man. Five-point game here. Yeah, who you got? Oh, man. Uh oh. oh! Seven-point game. No, they're throwing them on the way. Y'all notice that the Dreamers got like a six-man rotation? Yeah. Oh, gee, they're not very deep. We need someone to step up right now for the Dreamers if they want their season to survive. Hey, no count. It's like six players on the Dreamers. Oh, wow. Oh, he changed it. It's like six players on the game of the bench who haven't touched the ball, touched the court yet. Oh, damn it. Yeah, bro, they, they only sub like one person, which is Todd Burton. Nobody else plays. Eli is limping right now. He heads back to the locker room. And that's the opposite of what you want to happen. No, no, not the locker room. He's limping back on the court. He might have been hitting the groin. Uh oh. Pardon us. The downfall of YNG right now. Man, Carter Knox, man. I'm not going to lie. Do you know in the preseason when RWE was basically uh, unstoppable and they won all their games? Yeah. This is what I've seen. I'm seeing it again, man, for so, the first time in a while. So that's, that's what Sniper's point was earlier. He was like, is this really an upset? Yes, because they played bad throughout the season. They weren't healthy, man. They weren't healthy. You keep saying the same. No, no, they played bad before that. Never mind, never mind, never mind. The never first, the first you're, not game. Getting, you're not getting it. No, they were playing bad before the injuries, and they got injured, and they were playing that's worse. Not, that's not true. They had the first weekend, like they the dropped second, both games. They got hurt the second game of the season. They lost the whole first opening weekend, and then Agent, they lost more the next weekend. You don't get it. Don Lewis thank connects you, Thank you very much, Don Lewis. We needed that right there. Not we, but like y'all. <laughs> Nate gets fouled in the corner. Eli out right now. We're going to need a dreamer to step up, whether it's Isaac or Lewis or Morton. Nope. Yeah, Eli looking to check back in. He's limping his way back on the court. Oh, yeah, now, without Eli, uh, they're cooked. Carter Knox, I can tell he's feeling it. Back to Daquan Davis. High pick and roll here. Daquan moving screen called on Samto. Seven point game, four minutes. 
Man, it is a very, very crucial time for this Dreamers team if they're going to attempt to come back. Chad, do you think the Dreamers can make a comeback? Man, this has been a great game so far. Uh, <laughs> Isaac off the high, glass. High, no, Santo. Hey, Santo is, bro. It's ridiculous how much, like, nobody can even compete. And, and that's just mind-blowing to me, the fact that Dreamers are even up in the rebound battle, considering their size. Man, to see Eli and the Dreamers potentially get swept here in the semifinals, man, it's just... I mean... Yeah. They need a David Goggins speech. Oh, my lord. Wow. Hey, you know what? It's over with, man. Carter, Carter not just feeling himself right now. It is over mm. with. No, it's a nine-point game. Less than four minutes left to go. We'll be right back. Carter Knox must have touched the basketball on Space Jam 1 because out of nowhere, nine points in the first half, now he got 80. What happened? Someone turned him up. I think someone said something to him on the court. Something happened. Someone slapped him too damn hard, but he turns up now. It's, did did you put the word in? Like, what, what, what's going on right now? No, I think it's one of those Ellis brothers or something because they be talking a lot. They talk all the, the whole game. But something turned him up, and he, he lit right now. 73-64. You got... Total control of the series, you can sweep the number one seed, or miraculously they can come back and they force a game three. Y'all could probably lose. What's going on in your mind right now? This game over. This game over. I ain't gonna lie. What is it? We're up, about to go up ten, like two, three minutes left. This game over. The game is not over, but hypothetically, if it was, you will be going up either against the City Reapers or the Cohorts. Nervous about any of them two matchups at all? No, this is the championship right here. So nothing else matters? No. I think we'll, 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 we'll beat the other teams pretty easy. So basically you're saying wh whoever win this is winning the whole thing? For sure. I think the Cohorts is winning the whole thing, brother. Eh. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think they're really good. And they also have the coach who's won, like, every OTE championship ever. That's cool and all. Yeah. He, he cool, sure. He, 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 taught, he taught the coach you got. All right, man. Uh, some Baby Jeff said, come to New Jersey. You never been to Jersey? We have. We went last year. We're coming back this year. So, Jeff. You might have missed the first year, but he deviling back, coming back again to Jersey. Do you have any special guests that's popping out with you? Any NBA guys? Any 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 influencers? Any rappers? I'm not gonna say anything. Just know we're starting off with a bang. That's all I'm gonna say. Hey, that means yes. I don't know who, which one of the categories, this, but, but wherever he going, make sure y'all pull up because somebody gonna be there. Okay. Last question: How much y'all win by tonight? Uh, we'll win by ten. They're not going to go away. We're going to That's solid, man. More basketball coming up. Let's do it. Not much time left in this one. Just three minutes and 45 seconds. Eli Ellis and the Dreamers, they might be going home if they can't pull it together because Knox is at the line with a chance to make this right here a 10-point game. Knox having a great game, bro. That's what it looked like. It looked like the Dreamers going home on that bus you was talking about. 27. Yeah. It's funny, Snipe just was like, oh, he only has seven points tonight. <laughs> We're gonna need to see one of those magical performances. Yarma gets us started in the corner three. Hold on, hold on. Stop. I mean, it's not over. It's literally, I'm gonna say, it's literally not. Three minutes a lot of time. Oh, yeah, especially when it's a three-point shooting team, they just haven't hit, so. If they started magically hitting now, that will be something. Playing a trap defense, trying to force some turnovers. They defense, like, they defense got to, uh, you know? I think Isaac and Eli need to, like, tighten up. Like, through the calls, I feel like I see him complaining a lot, but... This is the game you're playing, man. This is the way they're calling it. So you can complain about it or you can... You know, it's, it's like it's like when you're lagging in a video game and you just gotta tighten up. <laughs> yeah, right. Either play or not. Yeah. <laughs> I just close up. 
Semi-final action continues next. Coming up, it's showtime. Game two between Ja'Kai Howard and the City Reapers and Trey Parker and the Cold Hearts. Will the City Reapers be able to fight off elimination or will the Cold Hearts punch their ticket to the OTE Finals? You can stream all the action right after this game on Prime Video and YouTube. Three minutes, 10 seconds left to go. Eli, spin move, and then the floater goes. That's and that's the record, yeah. Wow. Not that he's focused on it much. He's trying to survive here. But Eli now the highest scoring. No! What? <laughs> Most points in OTE history. Juan definitely got fouled there. No call is nuts. Congratulations to Eli Ellis, man. Wow. Breaking the scoring all-time OTE record. That means he beat Jay Gort, then he beat Bryson Warren, then he beat Amen Thompson, and just passed Asar Thompson for that first Real. spot. Step back to no. Oh, yeah. I can tell by Eli's reaction. I felt like he wants the shots Eli to go Ellis, in the too career bad, bucket. if that makes sense. Oh. Yep, he is officially. That's tough. It's nuts that like 22 points is a bad game for him. Yeah, I mean, that's what happened when you score 50 bomb on a Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. Team's definitely playing him tougher. He's having to fight through a lot of contact. I know it's so aggravating, man. I know it's fight, so fight, fight is an understatement. He has to WWE himself. Hey, hey, AJ, the see, content. I, I, I can tell you disagree a little bit. About what? About, um... It's, probably, it's going both ways, really. Quan got fouled for sure on the last possession. They didn't call it. He didn't get mad about it. He just got back on defense. Right. They're winning. Yeah, they're winning. They One, matter, they're about to win the series. This call is but I, call. Th I think... It's man, different when you get it. You wouldn't get it, though. Yeah. Quan. He wasn't ranked. The guy lying about being ranked. He just didn't get it. He just wouldn't get it, you know? All right, eight-point game. Any magic left? It needs to happen. Yarma! Eli fighting for that rebound. It's going to stay Dreamer Ball. Yarma's been good today. Over to Lewis. Lewis reverse lay. Foul. And they're asking for a potential goal 10. Yeah, they out of pocket. And then Santos asking for a replay. He doesn't even think he fouled. <laughs> I've never seen Santo hold up the one. Like, I got him. <laughs> never in my life. <laughs> That's crazy. So what are you trying to say? Santo don't take accountability? That's exactly what I'm saying. Bro. I will be letting Santo know that. Uh, of course you will. Of course you will. He will be picking you up by your head. That was crazy, David. I'm, I'm sorry. It actually wasn't. That, that was crazy. I, I wasn't going to say nothing, bro, but about time. Bro. Like, so <laughs> it, it really was. It, it At was, some point. So you said you said he will be picking you up by your head. That's not I'm crazy. I'm saying that's crazy to to say that Sampdo is so strong. <laughs> no. That he will hang be on, able to pick picked up. Piper Jones up hang on. You're not, you're, not, you're, not, you're, you're not thinking about that. And uh, the way you said it, you were thinking about it. Now it's crazy on you, buddy. No, 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 no. I, I'm about, I'm no, no, no. It's crazy. It's crazy on you. <laughs> if I hit like, like this. Have you never picked up somebody by the head before? That's, no, he could deadlift 600 plus pounds. But, but all listen. Right, that's, all right, all right, buddy. that's crazy yeah. to say because, like, that's like. That's, no, it's that's not. Like you're, you're reaching. You're reaching. You're reaching. Like, you know how, like, Michael Myers, when he, when he about to do somebody like that, he, he, you know? Reach Jay out. Jack, why? He passed it up. And then turns it over. Oh, no. My. Not able to get a grip on it to stay RWE. Under two minutes left to go, man. If the Dreamers, as soon as he made that mistake, he got subbed out. <laughs> Those are the worst. Though. Now they're just subbing Lewis in and out. They're keeping Lewis for offense and subbing him out on defense when they can. He hit the free throws and they subbed him out right after. Trying to, trying to waste that clock. Davis. Here. Money. That's over. Borderline dagger. That's a dagger. Tired of my dog, Daquan, man. For go ahead and um. Yeah, 
gotta act like there's not two minutes left to go, man. Bro, two minutes. Yeah, you're right. But I'm just saying, he got to hit a three right here. They're not shooting enough threes, I feel like. A lot of driving from Eli, trying to get his teammates open. Lewis. No, rebound, though. They keep it, Eli. Out of bounds. He was trying to turn on. Abu Yama tried to do a, a flashy pass and wound up throwing it out of bounds. <laughs> Double taps. <laughs> The flashy passes, accidental yeah. flashy passes used to bother me so much. I don't know why he decided to throw a flashy. He was wide open. A flashy when you lose about 18. <laughs> That's like hitting the emo right now. Oh man! Wow! RWE going to the final. Oh yeah! Just like I mean, and hey, listen, I won't even sit here and count like I like I thought they would. Eli wants it. Yarma, yes, he connects. That's point game. It's still over with, man. <laughs> hey, I won't sit here and cap like I had RWE going to the finals, because I had, you know, but everybody knew their potential, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knew they had pretty much one of the best rosters. You know, they were one of the best teams. So now that they, you know, was able to turn it around late in the season, you know what I'm saying, postseason. And get and they're tough to beat. Hey, bro, this, hey, my hat go out to them. You know what I'm saying? My dog, Jack Frost, my dog, something. You know what I'm saying? My dog, Carter, and I, my dog, they, you know what I'm saying? My thing. dog, Big Nate, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, bro, shout, shout out to them. I you think if, if RW goes to the finals here, I think they win it all. Yeah. 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 No, they win it all. A hundred percent. Like, 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 okay, this is what I, this is what I said. I say, I'm still going cold hearts. Yeah, I think the cold hearts, for some reason, beat RWE. We I'm, don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm going cold you hearts. Are insane. John Bull might not be back. Yeah, you're catching just just got injured. Like, like, I, I think catch is injured. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch is <laughs> he got an ankle injury. I think RWE only beat cold hearts once. I think I think cold hearts done beat them every other time. Wow, on Eli's. Big night breaking the score. I'm not record. gonna say I'm like y'all should stop comparing regular season RW when they had have the team that right. Oh, you are pretending like the whole regular season didn't matter because they were injured. That is literally exactly what the I'm saying. The Cold Hearts were that, injured in the playoffs and they're still in it. They're winning. I am hundred and ten percent saying that. Yes, the RWE's regular season should, is not a is not a problem. Let's, let's call out the whole season when people get injured. No, what what are you talking about? What's the about? point of playing if You're that's an excuse for losing? You got to play you, regardless. No, you went. You just completely missed my point. So okay, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, you're comparing them. Like he just used previous matchups. I'm saying they have their full team now and they're playing way better. You shouldn't, you shouldn't, count, you shouldn't consider their regular season matchups versus the cohorts as to what's going to happen now. Right. I think you have short term memory. Wow, Eli pushed off, no call, but gets a corner three, misses. So, 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 am I tripping? Now nah, look, even when Santo came back, they were dropping games, uh -oh. right? I thought he was about to go for something crazy. Yeah, yeah. Carter knocks just too much, man. Wow, RWE upset the number one seeded YNG Dreamers. And all Eli, Isaac, and Cole can do is. Hey! Oh, you messed that up. He said. Oh, I think, you know what? That, that, that low key just like. Uh, the, 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 the sweetness, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, big win for RWE. They upset the number one seeded Dreamers. I think a lot of people had the Dreamers winning it all after a fiery second half of the season. They looked unstoppable, but they've been stopped by Carter Knox, Samto, Big Nate, Daquan Davis, and Romello. And definitely Romello. And now you stop trying to play my dog. <laughs> man, they did their thing, man. They did their thing. Man, what hey, a this team, game. This team is so tough to beat when they hey, good game, fellas. When they have their full team together, yeah. when they're clicking on all cylinders, man, they are a very, very tough team to beat. And they did their thing. Yeah, player of the game. None other than Carter Knox. <laughs> he has been a Ooh beast wee. so far in the playoffs, Davis. Man, I mean, he can just score <laughs> every time. When he's going downhill, it's over. Like, it's, it's literally over. I'm going to say a lot of people lost faith in the first half of the season. 
But man, have they proved everybody, including all of us, wrong. Snipe is joined with the player of the game, Snipe. A 30 ball closeout game on a number one seed. Now you headed to the finals. How you feeling, Carter Notch? You know, we feeling great. You know, our teammates, you know, we worked real hard to get to the finals. You know, we started off pretty rough in the uh, uh, beginning of the regular season. You know, but we pulled off, now we in the finals, so, yeah. You either going up against the City Reapers or the Cohorts. Do you have a message for either team that you meet in the finals? All I said, just be ready. You know, because we in the finals, we're going to all gas, no breaks. And this was a full team win, but I feel like this game in particular, you had your impact on the entire game. What was your mindset heading into this closeout game? I was ready to kill. You know, I wasn't trying to work on Monday, so I'm trying to get these boys up out of here. And, you know, uh, I've been, I was in the gym last night, you know, working real hard. And, you know, the work's trying to pay off. Now, yesterday you was cramming throughout the game. Today, I see you was a lot better. Did you drink your pickle juice? You drank your Gatorade? What happened, man? I had pickle juice, mustard, <laughs> uh, what else? I had ev dang near everything. All right, now look. Coach Lato, he won two championships here at OTE. Now, your coach, Coach Frazier, coached under him last year. Yeah. If it happens to be a matchup, do you think it's going to come down to the coaches or it's going to come down to the players? I feel like it's going to be a both. You know, uh, it's going to be a coaching matchup and a player matchup. So, you know, it's going to be real competitive. And, you know, we're going to come out on top. Last but not least, I want to ask you this. Nobody's seen this team fully together for the entire season. Now y'all finally back together. Of course, you didn't have Darian Sutton tonight, but I'm sure you'll be back by the time the finals come around. This is the best roster in OT. Do you agree? Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, our guys, you know, we train every day, work hard every day. You know, that's why I'm, I'm blessed to be a part of the, uh, with this team. Now, who on this team does not get the amount of credit that they deserve for the work that they put in? Romello, my little bro, you know what I'm saying? All my, all my youngest. You know, they don't get in the game, but in practice, they go hard. So, yeah, all my youngest out there, you know, they Absolutely. go hard. Hey, man, I need you to go ahead and sign out one time, Carter Knox. Y'all sign out right there, my boy. The player of the game, RWE, is headed to the finals. Hey, man, great job this season. Back to you guys, man. Appreciate you. Hey, thanks for that, Snipe. Let's take a look at the playoff bracket. Man, RWE moves on to the finals. They'll be met by the winner of Cold Hearts City Reapers. So if Cold Hearts win tonight, which is the game right after this, then they will make it. And there's no games to play. There's no third game on Monday. It'll be a Cold Hearts RWE Finals. If City Reapers win, we'll see a game three in that series. And uh, after that game, after that second game, this doubleheader today, Romello Show drops the one. So you can catch that on the OTE YouTube channel. Make sure to tune in. I'm 15 years old and live a crazy life. There's another closet over here. <laughs> My mom is a well famous singer. How much are you pumped in? Well over 200,000. I play at OT under the bright lights. Come on, Romello. And I have to balance family, friends, school, and fame. Bro, why don't they say Eli Ellis, bro? I'm going to start you in the second half. You miss, I swear you're coming out. I miss. There's anyone who can do it. I'm the one. Well, there you have it. You never know what to expect when it's OTE playoffs. RWE move on to the finals and upset the first seed with the MVP, Eli Ellis, man. What a season for them. Congratulations to all their success. But I'm excited to see what RWE does in the finals. It's been your host, Agent Zero, joined by my two lovely co-hosts, Duke Dennis and I'm Davis. There is a second game in this doubleheader, so don't go anywhere. We'll see you there.